Hey, what up YouTube? This is Aizong. Thanks for tuning in. About eight months ago, I started the series of three episodes where I'm comparing two characters out of Street Fighter and have them battle for a spot on the roster in Street Fighter 6. Well, by now the entire roster has been leaked, so a lot of these characters didn't make it in. So in this episode, we're gonna dive deep into Yurian and Gil. And we'll start off their story with Colleen, who strongly believes in the prophecy of the Illuminati. After 130 days of silence, a blonde-haired child had appeared who was equally filled with fire and water. That child listened to the wishes of those people who had true compassion. Almost there. We are almost there. Now, Gil and Yurian are the sons of very gifted parents that were highly ranked Illuminati members themselves. This organization pulls the strings of the Street Fighter universe from the shadows while they await the arrival of their new messiah that apparently has been prophesied. These brothers were experimented on and trained up for years until they reached the age of 22 years old with just one goal in mind, to become the new emperor of the Illuminati and according to the prophecy, this messiah will lead them to the promised land and he is physically capable of hosting the reincarnated spirit of the previous emperor. Are you still with me? They're both very different and they have a ton of depth to their personality and powers. First Gil, he strongly believes he is the chosen one, which results in having a somewhat of a messiah complex. His goals are noble though. Gil sees himself as the leader of the world that brings harmony and grants every individual the inspiration to achieve his or her dream and goals in life. His means to achieve this goal aren't as noble though. Gil puppeteers people, he belittles them and he uses them to do his dirty work. And during his training he achieved the power of the elements fire and ice. His body is divided in red and blue and this team clearly breathed harmony, which is the goal that Gil has set to bring to the world. Now, where Gil is balanced and has noble goals, Yurian wants just one thing. He wants to be the leader of the Illuminati and he wants to surpass his brother. He has a very violent demeanor, a lust for power, and he's filled with frustration. Yurian plots behind Gil's back to take his position as he uses forbidden technology to create an army of cloned bodies, which will later pop up as 12, Necro... So during his training, Yurian mastered the power of electricity, which he uses to shoot projectiles and to set up his notorious Aegis Reflector. Now both these characters feature in Street Fighter V and in Third Strike, setting up the stage for Street Fighter VI. In Street Fighter V, the Illuminati is introduced as a powerful group that influences the events in Street Fighter, and one of the main characters in that game, Charlie Nash, is resurrected by the Illuminati to help defeat M. Bison, who is becoming too powerful when boosting his psycho energy with his artificial energy source. Nash has been killed by Bison previously, so the Illuminati plans to use that rage to attack Bison while remaining in the shadows. Now this plan, this plan comes from none other than Gil, so with the help of his secretary Colleen, it really fits the theme of this doing this noble thing to rid the world of Bison, but doing it by using a dead and traumatized soldier to keep both of his hands clean. The technology for this resurrection comes from Yurian, who stole it from an old Sin facility that he infiltrated. The real goal of stealing this technology is to create his own army of cloned bodies to overthrow Gil at a later stage, which also fits his character. At the end of the story, Nash plays a big role by attacking Bison, but he's ultimately losing. This attack sets up the stage for Ryu, who then takes down Bison after overcoming his own Satsui no Hado, his dark powers within. Gil comments that Ryu becoming this strong and defeating Bison isn't prophesized, which piques his interest. Gil is also very interested in G, who he senses has great power and a goal not too different from himself. He defeats G, but he doesn't kill him. His goal here is to make his first public appearance to usher in the idea that he is the new leader of all inhabitants of the Street Fighter universe. Now in Third Strike, the story continues and Gil is now the final villain himself. He has staged a fight with Yurian who he defeats and gains the role of president of the Illuminati. So first Yurian is happy, however Gil tanked that fight and he let Yurian win so that he can continue his own powers for his organization where he himself is now the new emperor. When Yurian learns that he didn't actually defeat his brother and that Gil still outranks him, he is furious and he's filled with envy once again. 
Urien uses the technology that is stole from the Sin facility and he expands on it creating clones such as Twelve and Necro, who are also part of the Third Strike roster. He wants to create an entire army of super clones to overthrow Gil and to gain full control over the Illuminati. The story doesn't really progress much beyond that, so there are only stories per character. So in Gil's ending, he makes Alex, which is the main protagonist of Third Strike, into one of his followers, and he splits open the ocean to lead his following to the Promised Land, all adding to his messiah-like demeanor. In Urien's ending, he destroys a facility where Gil is resting after battle, claiming he finally got rid of his brother and he is now the new leader that he always wanted to be. Now, the roster of Street Fighter VI has been leaked already and there's no Gil and no Urien on that starting roster. But Gil clearly still has a role in the game, as his colors and his message are portrayed in the Metro City billboards and in the Metro City advertisements. So I wonder, if both characters will return, if only one of them makes it, who do you want back in Street Fighter VI? Yeah, let me know in the comments and give the video a thumbs up, that would really help the channel.